Once the cortical removal is done, the next step is using an OVD of your own choice to inflate the capsule or bag. And I actually put a little bit right over the iris at the site of the incision to dimple the iris down to avoid any trauma to the iris stroma as I'm inserting the IOL. Different IOLs open at different rates, and of course, each implant has its own delivery device. As you can see, this is a one-piece acrylic IOL. It takes a little bit longer for it to open up and for its haptics to kind of release. Make sure both haptics are tucked into the capsule or bag, and then you can start the IA. It's critically important to ensure both haptics are in the bag.